Welcome to this Piskel Getting Started tutorial. I'm Rindon with TJ Free, and in this video, we're just going to be learning the basics and the basic drawing tools and color changing tools using Piskel to create pixel art and sprite animations. Uh, if you don't already have Piskel installed, you can download it for Windows, Linux, and Mac and run it offline. You can also run it at piskelapp.com uh, just in your web browser and check out my other videos where I show how to do that. When you first open Pisco, it looks like this. We have a blank screen. We can use our scroll wheel on our mouse in and out to see our drawing extents. So right now we have a 32 pixel wide by 32 pixel high uh, drawing area. And we can see down in the bottom corner, it tells us 32 by 32. And whatever pixel we're hovering over, it tells us which pixel that is. We can zoom in with our scroll wheel or plus, we can use plus and minus on our keyboard as well. When we left click, it just creates, uh, a, that pixel becomes uh, darkened or drawn in with the color we have selected. So we can left click a single time to just draw pixel by pixel like this if we want to. Or we can left click and hold to draw and fill in multiple pixels at once. We can fill in entire pixels by using this paint bucket tool. So we were on the pen tool, but if we go down and left click on the paint bucket tool and then click in here, it'll fill in everything in black there. I can do Control Z on my keyboard to undo that, and we can change the color. So if we left click down here on this top color, we can change this to maybe more of a red. And then if we left click in here, it'll fill it in with red. So this fills in everything in an area that's closed in. So if we were to zoom out, we could also fill in uh, everything else. So if we change this to maybe a purple color, and we click just on the everything on the outside. Now everything is filled in. We don't have any transparency or any clear pixels. Um, everything is just filled in here. Uh, if you want to get to get this erased and get to a new thing, you can either come over here to the top right hand corner and just create a whole new project or you can create a new frame. And this is what we'll do um, in the next tutorial, creating an animation. But you can have a new blank fr uh, frame, and then you can just come over here and click this trash can icon to erase your first frame. We have a nice clear frame now. Um, I want to show you some other tools. So with this pen tool, I'll get back to this black color, and I'm going to create something and just start drawing by left clicking and holding. We can erase by either right clicking right now to erase certain pixels or we can go to the eraser tool. When we left click this, and then we can just left click and whatever we left click on will become erased. Um, the reason that the erase was working in the pen tool when we right click is because there's actually two colors. It's drawing in transparent pixels. So suppose we wanted to work in red and black. We'd keep the black as our primary color and our secondary color, we can left click on this and change our secondary color to a red. Now when we left click our mouse, it'll do black pixels. When we right click our mouse, it'll do red pixels. It's a good idea to keep this set though to transparent for our secondary color. It makes it really easy to just start drawing and if you mess up, you can hurry and just right click to erase without having to jump into the eraser tool. I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo a few of these. Um, something else that's nice, oh, too far. Uh, we have these different ways we can draw. We can draw a rectangle. So if we want to left click and hold, we can just draw a specific rectangle. If we want to draw something that uh, we utilize rectangles for, we can also do a circle as we, within the constraints of these pixels. It won't be a perfect circle, but we can sort of draw a circle out as well. Um, I can do control Z to get rid of those. Uh, we can also do selection. So when we have something, if we have a circle here and we have a rectangle here, and we can maybe fill those in with a color so we fill in each of these and we have some nice things drawn. If we want to move these to a different location, we might use our selection tool. So the hand tool moves our entire, moves everything that's drawn. When we're in the move tool and we left click, it'll just move everything that's drawn in here. But when we, um, we can select certain things, so we can select just this right here, and then we can hover over this selection and look and see. It says if we hold down the shift key, it'll move only the content within that selected, selected area. So if we hold down the shift key right now and move this, it'll move that draw, every, all those pixels that are drawn. We hit the enter key and that's how we can move something. We'll do that again. I wanna show you if we select this and we just click and move, it only moves our selection area. So now only the selection area is moving and not what's behind the selection area. But if we wanna move what's behind the selection area, it tells us we hold down our shift key. 
So hold down the shift key while moving this and it'll move everything in there. But then to set that move, we have to hit the enter key or the return key on our keyboard. So we'll play with this a little bit more, um, but that's just one way we can do that. Also, sometimes you might have a situation like this where we have something that's maybe really close uh, to another object. We can use this lasso selection. The lasso selection lets us just sort of freehand draw a select of selected pixels and we select all these pixels and we can make sure we don't accidentally grab some a different object and then we can hold down the shift key again and move that to where we want hit the enter key to confirm that movement um, if we have different things drawn if we have some different red pixels over here for example and we have some red things drawn here and we decide we want to change all of the red pixels uh, in our drawing, we can use this paint uh, all pixels of the same color. It's like a fill bucket, but other than unlike using the fill bucket, maybe we let's choose a nice yellow color here. We'd have to go through each time and change all of these colors. We can change them all at once this way. So we can just select this option and then go to the color that we want these to be, and then just click once on that color pixel, and it'll change all the pixels drawn. There's also options for holding Control and Shift. Um, when we get into multiple layers and multiple frames, uh, we can apply the change the colors of all those pixels across all the frames as well, which is really nice. Oh, the stroke tool is really good as well. The stroke tool will draw a straight line, uh, as straight as possible, again, within the constraints of the, the resolution we're working in. And that'll be whatever color we're using. We can just left click and hold. And if we wanna draw a thicker line, we can change the thickness of our pen size right here. So right now it's just one pixel. This is going to be four total pixels, so two by two. And now our line will be thicker when we draw this. We can even draw a, a thicker one. We can go up to um, four by four. So this is a very thick, large line. It'll also work when we're drawing our rectangle or when we're just drawing with the pen. If I change to a different color, our pen is now four pixels thick, uh, four pixels wide and four pixels high. Um, what other tools do we have? So this um, shape selection will select everything. We did the rectangle selection and the lasso selection, but the shape will select everything that's of the same, all the pixels of the same color. So in this case, it selected all of these yellow pixels. Then we could hold the shift key and just move these around if we wanted to. So it selects everything of the same color as long as they're adjacent, so either touching horizontally or vertically. It doesn't work, so it won't get these ones here that are touching at a corner. It only gets the ones that are touching um, on a horizontal or vertical surface. Does that make sense? And we could also use this to recolor or to move as well. We're going to play with this dithering and lightning and darkening uh, in later in a, a later tutorial. Um, I do want to show you we can change our color very quickly with this color picker tool. We can just hover over and click and then our selected color will change to whatever color we clicked on. So if we don't want to click on this and go into it, which it actually keeps track of the, the colors we've been using in the past, so, which is nice. And we can see our color palette is over here and we can also click on them over here to change to that color very quickly. So there's different ways to change into the colors. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stop this video here. Go ahead and play with these. In the next video, we'll learn about adding new frames and creating a basic frame-by-frame -frame animation. And we'll also touch more on some of the different tools we have over here to the right-hand side. Uh, but go ahead and play with Pisco. Hopefully you uh, have found this video informative. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below if you have any. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.